Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful attacking game for you played by Rashid Najmetdinov against Yermolin. The game was played in 1946 in Kazan. Nezhmeddinov, who was a very fierce attacking player, started with e4, c5 by Yermolin, Sicilian defense, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, g6, black is going for dragon variation and there it goes f4, Nezhmeddinov is meeting the dragon with Levenfish variation which is named after Russian Grandmaster Grigory Levenfish. The f-pawn is coming to support the e-pawn in order to push it further and attack black knight. Bishop g7 and there it goes we see e5. The best move for black is now placing the knight on h5 square but instead after e5 we see d takes e5. F takes e5 and after knight d5 black is facing serious problems. It was better to place the knight on d7, though after e6 knight e5 e takes f7 check knight takes f7 bishop b5 check still white has a slight advantage but instead after f takes e5 we see knight d5 and after bishop b5 check it turns out that black is forced to move his king otherwise if you play bishop d7 then the knight is no longer protected by the queen and white king capture on d5. That's why after bishop b5 check black is forced to make this unpleasant choice and move the king. White castles kingside and now this rook on f5 can cause black a lot of problems. Bishop takes e5 and while black is busy with grabbing pawns Nezhmeddinov is attacking bishop h6 check and king g8. Well, if bishop g7, then knight takes d5 is very strong. Well, if queen takes d5, then white can either capture on g7 giving a check and then simply win the queen. Or after queen takes d5, play bishop c4, a powerful deflective move. You can't capture because white can play knight e6 check, open up the d file, and if bishop takes e6, then queen d8 checkmate. Or after knight takes d5, if a move like bishop takes h6 then queen f3 threatening checkmate in one, if f5 then rook e1, bishop g7, white can capture on f5 and then play g4 and this is going to be a destructive attack. The black king is stuck on f8 square while all white pieces are attacking. Let's go back but after bishop h6 check we see king g8. Here comes knight takes d5, queen takes d5 and a powerful move by Nezhmeddinov, knight f5. White has a very simple threat, knight takes e7, checkmate, also the queen is hanging. For example, if queen takes d1, the knight takes e7, checkmate. After knight f5, we see queen c5, check, bishop e3, covering the king, attacking the queen and still threatening checkmate in one. Queen c7 covering the d8 square, but here comes knight h6 check and Yermolin resigned. If king g7 then simply rook takes f7 checkmate. If you enjoyed this beautiful attack by Rashid Nezhmetdinov, don't forget to give the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, more games are coming. Thanks for watching and I wish you good luck.